Good morning, everyone, and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Lyndall Stout. For many people, nothing beats cutting down their very own real tree at Christmas time, but it may not be quite as easy as it looks. More on that coming up. But first, a look at what wheat dockage can mean for your bottom line. Dockage may be something that's normally thought about more at harvest time, but it's probably a good idea to focus on it this time of year as well. If you have high levels of dockage in your wheat seed when you deliver it, that's a good indication that you had those weeds in the field all along and you're, you're suffering uh, yield loss there due to the weed crop competition. Uh, you know, dockage levels, Oklahoma's dockage levels are, are much higher than our, our neighboring states, Kansas and Texas, and uh, you know, that, that's a good indication that, that our weed control is not where it should be and that we're suffering a lot of yield loss and, and leaving a lot of bushels out in the field uh, where we could be uh, having a more competitive crop and getting more, more grain at the end of the season. And that's something you and your team here try to focus on, treating it at the ground level, so to speak. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're looking at uh, newer herbicides, uh, new herbicide combinations, uh, trying to find ways to improve that weed control, uh, maybe looking at, at different application timings where a farmer's going to get more activity, more bang for their buck with their chemical money there. Um, just anything we can do to improve weed control and improve uh, yield at the end of the season. Okay, and dockage, it affects a lot of things from your bottom line. You were talking about fuel cost and, and other, I guess, strain on your equipment? Sure, you know, dockage is, again, non-wheat material that you bring to the elevator. So if you're bringing in a percent or two percent dockage, that's wasted fuel. You're hauling around something that the elevator doesn't want. They're not going to pay you for. So that, that's wasted fuel. Again, wasted yield because those those uh, weeds are robbing nutrients and moisture from the crop um, and it's also going to hurt your price at the end of it there too. It, for every uh, level of dockage you go up, your price will decrease accordingly there. And this is something that you and your colleagues are going to examine a little more closely at a seminar next week? Yeah, we've, we've got a, I think a very exciting opportunity for producers and, and anyone interested to come out to a plot tour down in Canadian County. Uh, that, that we're hosting looking at uh, weed control issues in the field. So we're going to have uh, several plots out there looking at herbicide options, combinations, uh, newer products to evaluate how they're working on, on grass control in particular. And then we're also going to have speakers uh, discuss the marketing issues and, and uh, from a, a local perspective but also from a little broader perspective at the elevator level and how dockage is, is really an urgent issue for Oklahoma wheat producers. Okay, and if someone's interested in attending, they need to, to get registered, contact, contact they need to contact? Yeah, contact the, the Canadian County Extension Office. Uh, Brad Tipton is our extension educator there, and he will get you signed up. Uh, there, there'll be speakers in the morning, and then uh, conclude with a lunch in the afternoon. So uh, RSVP as soon as you can, and we'll get you signed up for the meeting there. And I guess it's always rewarding for, for you and your team to take what you do here uh, in the university setting, in the research setting, and, and really apply it out there in the field. Yeah, that, that's what we do. That, that's the purpose of land-grant institutions and, and extension. And anything we can do to help farmers increase their bottom line and, and the wheat industry in general increase their bottom line, we're, we're happy to help there. Okay. Thank you very much, Joe Armstrong, our Weed Extension Specialist. And for more information on the dockage program and how to sign up, you can go to sunup.okstate.edu.